It's Friday. Good morning. Marathon weekend. And we're but starting it. Most importantly. <laughs> what? Are you going to say what I was going to say? You Muppets say. Haunted Mansion <laughs> came out today. <gasps> and we have it on right now. Don't look under the bed on. It's such a classic. <laughs> Jamie's getting some playing in before we leave for the pasta dinner for American Cancer Society. It has been raining today, so hopefully it's died down. Um, we are going to leave any minute now to go to the Palmer House in the Loop. That is where there is dinner tonight for Team Determination. Are you ready to see all of our, our friends? for the pre-rent and the prequel front? No. It's a movie about um, the uh, writer. Oh, it's not only a prequel. It's like a... Dramatization. Actual, well, I feel like there's been a million farewell, farewell tours of rent. That would be fun to see. Yeah. So we're going to the Palmer House tonight because that's where, it's like the headquarters for American Cancer Society during this marathon weekend. Starting tonight with a pasta dinner and like a short program. I don't even know what the short program is. Probably just like, hi, this is the plan. Yeah. This is what we're doing. I don't know what else. All that good stuff. But so that's what we're doing tonight. We used to go to this gift shop all the time for Peter's shaving cream. <laughs> that's where we would buy your shaving cream. Well, because I would like have bougie yeah. shaving stuff, yeah. like badger fur brushes. And, and stuff. we were down here a ton yeah. in college in our first year. So. We're here a little early, but we have to like do vaccine. Yeah, test like, check like stuff yeah. beforehand and we want to see our ACS friends because it's like yeah. all I'm assuming they, all of our ACS people are going to be here right because like they actually like have to be working yeah. and not being like buddy buddy but do you that. think we will distract them I think so James has his own Palmer House high chair. Very excited. James, do you love it? You've met like 17 different ACS workers. We've got some photos that we posted up trying to close out our $1,000 goal by this weekend. And mom's getting some food because the banquet has, the buffet has opened before the program at seven begins. Oh yeah. You like the piano player? Some Beatles. <laughs> yeah, isn't that a fancy high chair? Ooh. Maybe we should find Jenna said. Jenna knows him. Really? The, the pianist, and he, she's like, she's like. Hi. Hi. Are you ready to eat? That looks delicious. Yeah. There's all kinds of like mushrooms and cheese and broccoli. None of it like felt good to me, but it was nice that you could like Mix make, and make your pasta a little bit more fancy. We okay. will get you eaten, okay? I'm gonna head up there, okay? Okay. 
James to walk over to Jenna. Go disturb her during her work. You want to practice for Sunday? <laughs> Alrighty, we are headed out. Look at this just beautiful lobby. Is I've this... never been in the Palmer House like this. I know. This is stunning. This is like Grand Floridian at night. <laughs> <laughs> He literally just dozed off. No bile or nothing. Is that right now? <laughs> he had a wild night. He was crawling all over. He was eating everything. He was eating everything. He was walking. All right, so we're trying to think of what we're doing. It's, it's just before eight o'clock. I think we might go back to our neighborhood and grab something to eat or snack on, or I don't know, or maybe go to I'm the riverfront. Like stuffed. <laughs> but I know, like Peter was more like. Like Peter's the runner and like even though like we do fundraise together like it is in Peter's name So a lot of the times like at things like this like he's like buzzing around talking to people like and of course like people are Talking to James and I and like we're kind of like I don't know like we are definitely a team and like ACS recognizes that but like Sometimes like Peter is just more of the like Chit chatter, you know like the face of it. Yeah. So I feel like he didn't eat as much because I was just like making sure James was happy and all of that so I'm fine with like anything you're up for. And I also feel kind sweet. of emotionally eating too because like that was fun, but that was also not fun. Right, like I was just like, we were talking to some of our friends. It's like, my mom didn't even get a shot. Right, she didn't make it battling to cancer. And I'm still like, we've been so like talking about like in honor of my dad for so long. It's really strange for it to be both of my parents. And it's, it's heavy. Like, I feel like I've been crying, but, like, I I only cried a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I think you were crying internally. Like, yeah. and it was just wearing you down. Right. Yeah, so I feel like you probably are feeling the same. And I feel like this weekend is going to be emotional. Like, marathons are emotional. How many times am I going to cry during it? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> well, we've made our way to the State Street ramps to head down to the river to see if there's anything, you know. Anything worth writing home about. Sarah keeps saying she's 
stuffed to the brim and not hungry. And then keeps talking about food. I'm so full. I'm so full. But you're the reason why we're down here at the river. I'm the reason we stayed in downtown. Yeah. I just like... Want a bask in it? it? We haven't been down here in a while. Yeah, we'll find something. Look at these nighttime kayakers. That's all I want to do in life. I just want to say I'm not going to do the marathon on Sunday. I'm going to do that instead. Okay. Also, I think we're conceding and we're going to eat at this, this, what is this place? It's called Eat Kitchen. Eat Kitchen something. Wow. Here's the way it can be fun to sit over there. The yeah. Music. It's yeah. like cha cha music. Uh huh. Here's your all in They like mixed it in front of me. Oh. Thank you. And what did you get to drink? I got a 312. Classic. Liquid carbs. And what did you get to eat? I was gonna get their house made black meat burger, but they're out. Oh. They have Beyond Burger, so I got a regular burger. <laughs> I awesome. like your logic. And I also got mac and cheese. Because I figured Sarah says she's hungry now, but the I'm, second the food I'm not drops, hungry. The second the food drops, she's like that James is going to wake up when he smells the food. So, I did it. I got the mac and cheese. Alright, here's my burger. Pretty basic burger with some sauce. Looks some fancy. french fries. It's got pepper jack cheese and here's the mac and cheese that I got for Sarah and James. Are you hungry? No. Shoot. <laughs> Whoa. This was basically my view during our little that's incredible. Trist. I had a crazy view and Peter, I was like, I just love this view and sitting here and Peter was like, view? And he like literally was looking at like- a view of like a garbage can and trees. And like the bottom of, of the bridge. The like, how was that any good? Fun facts about some history for Peter when I used to work overnights at the hotel. Sometimes me and my colleagues would get off work at six in the morning and we would go to Rosie's because they open up at seven and we would have a couple drinks and it would be so funny because we would have a couple drinks because to us it was like midnight but it was actually seven in the morning and we'd see like businessmen and women going to work and we would be like standing there with our drinks at seven in the morning looking up fright and we'd just get the weirdest look from all these <laughs> business people we're like hey we're normal we're just we work from 11 p.m to 6 a.m not the other way around you know but shout out to rosie's yeah we're getting on the train we pushed our luck he's awake but he's like kind of mad for like not making eye contact. <laughs> we pass this sign so often, but I never show it. <laughs> and we just think it's hilarious every time, so. Uh, fun and drinks this way, your you. awful life this way. <laughs> I hope like it's hilarious, but I also don't like that ideology. You know? I know, but it's clearly a joke. Yeah, but I'm getting nervous because they said it runs in 36 hours. And you're going to be running on one of these streets. Lunch. Streets of Chicago, I love you, dog. <laughs> Nick Miller, Nick Miller from the streets of Chicago. Because players play like they do, like they did. Nick Miller, Nick Miller. Oh. Nick Miller, Nick Miller, yo, streets of Chicago. Rough and tumble, one love, you my heart. I just stepped in a, in a sinkhole. An in sinkhole? <laughs> Who's getting ready for bed? James, he's getting ready for bed. With his spooky Halloween jammies on. Oh, yes. He loves to take my ID out of my wallet, which is why I'm not showing too much of it. <laughs> you look like a who. Come on up. Do we say yeah? What tomorrow? I don't think we've said what we're doing tomorrow. No. So tomorrow we're going to the expo, which is going to be for a lot the of fun. Chicago Marathon. Mm-hmm. But before that, we're actually I'm I'm being interviewed mm -hmm. by the American Cancer Society mm -hmm. for part of their commercial campaign that I think they said is coming out next year. Mm-hmm. We said we're so happy to help. But we're so upset that we're good candidates for something like this. Right. But we'll forever spread awareness and mm -hmm. we will forever fundraise. Mm -hmm. We'll be advocates yeah. for the fight against mm -hmm. cancer. Yep. Which reminds us that link in the description.
mm -hmm. is our fundraiser for Dopey. Dopey Challenge. And I know we've been saying it for so long, but our virtual 5K is happening after the Chicago Marathon is through and Wine and Dine is situated. That is when we will be able to put our energy towards it. And yeah. that's going to be really fun. I think we should have like standing meetings between you and me. One, yeah, for once, real. Once a week to make yeah. sure thing that it progresses. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Would you watch tomorrow's vlog? I'll be running the marathon. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.